Hello, gentlemen. Patrick Ryan here, founder of Wingman for You. We help men find the woman of their dreams by teaching them how to approach women with confidence. Now, gentlemen, this video is about sex. Yes, S E X, sex. We've got a couple of videos out there that talk about how men think that if we fall in love with a woman, we're going to get sex the rest of our lives. And women think if they have sex with a man, that they're going to get love the rest of their lives. Now, you ask, hmm, that doesn't sound right, Patrick. Give me an example. Well, season two, episode 10, The Big Bang Theory, is a prime example of this specific issue that men and women seem to have that nobody seems to be talking about and nobody seems to be resolving. So in this particular episode, now again, you got to remember season two, episode 10, you got to remember that Leonard was totally infatuated with Penny, his neighbor. And they've gone out some dates at this point, but she's still attracted to him, but she's a little trepidatious in diving into a relationship with this nerd. Anyway, at this particular stage of the episode, Leonard is dating Stephanie, the doctor, in fact, a prominent doctor here in town, and they're having lots of sex. Well, Penny knocks on the door one morning, comes over and realizes that, hmm, Stephanie may be your roommate. And of course, Leonard's like, no, 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 she's not living here. She just stays here quite often. And it's more convenient for her to get to work. Whatever the reason, whatever the excuse. Benny then says, well, Leonard, let's uh, let's go take a look at your room. So she goes in there, looks in the closet and says, oh, this dress is pretty. I bet you it looks great on you, Leonard. Oh, hey, look at this. Who's What picture is this? Who are these people? Oh, is this your jewelry box? <laughs> Leonard was totally oblivious to the fact that Stephanie had been bringing personal items over and putting them in his bedroom. She's marking her territory, as I would call it. But here's the fun part, is that Leonard is thinking that, hmm, you know, I'm not ready for her to be moving in and living together. I'm okay with just being boyfriend and girlfriend, but she shouldn't be living here. So he's going to approach her about this. So she comes over that evening, they sit on the couch and says, uh, we need to talk. And she's like, oh my gosh, we need to talk? He goes, well, yeah, we need to talk. And he wants to tell her, you know, Stephanie, you need to move your stuff out. Let's, let's continue the relationship. I'm really enjoying it, but I feel a little bit, like a little bit choked, a little bit smothered having somebody living with me right now. He, of course, has no idea, not no idea what to say to her, how to say to her, to her, and how to just approach the whole conversation. And of course, she's getting really insecure about this. What does she do? She whispers in his ear and he goes, oh, okay. And they run off to the bedroom. Again, women believe that sex will get them love. And the more sex you have with a man, the more love you're going to get. Where in fact, that's really not the case. You really need to connect emotionally. And we need to connect on that emotional level, guys. And I know some of you men out there are totally out of touch with your emotions, but I can help you find your emotions, experience real, true, honest feelings, and be able to express those feelings in an authentic way. So guys, I hope that this has helped you understand that sex, guys, is a tool, is an activity that men and women do to share their emotions, share their closeness with each other. It's not something that we fall in love with, or at least it shouldn't be. We should be falling in love with the individual and not the activity. Guys, I hope this has helped you get a little bit closer to finding the women of your dreams. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've got dozens and dozens of videos that'll help you get closer and closer to dating the woman of your dreams. We'll see you in the next video.